Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my 2020 luxury wish list, the things that I have in store for you. Um, I know I'm a little bit late to the show, please do not come for me. But if you are interested in seeing that, please stay tuned. <laughs> handbags, uh, shoes, things like that. Usually on the pre-love market, every once in a while, I'll do something um, that's new. But for the most part, I do things on the pre-love market because I like a bargain. Um, so anyway, if you like those kind of videos, you'll probably like it here. Uh, go ahead and subscribe below and you can give this video a thumbs up if you are loving it, okay? Uh, let's also address the elephant in the room. Yes, my hair is different. No, I didn't get my hair done at a back shop somewhere in the back door. I did it myself and my nails. Look, my nails are different. So yes, don't look too closely at either either item. But anyway, I am learning how to safe self-maintain. So that is something that we are all going to be doing. Because I mean, I learned how to do, this was just like some press-ons. Somebody told me that that would be like something good to do in the meantime. And they actually have stayed really, really well. So I'm very, very proud of myself. I have saved a pretty penny. Uh, either we are going to learn how to uh, do our own hair or nails, we're going to learn how to cook, we're going to learn how to get along with our family members, we are going to learn activities for our children to do, so next time that they're like, we're bored, oh, you know what, I got something for you to remember, remember that last time we were homeschooling, yeah, so now we have something to do, so we are all benefiting, let's think of the positives from the COVID-19, and those are the positives, we may be able to save ourselves some money, we probably binged on a whole bunch of shows that we need to get caught up on anyway, and move so hey here we go so anyway so let's go ahead and get into this luxury um, wish list video okay so I got my little um, all my notes in my agenda uh, that's how I keep keep track of myself um, not too many items um, since it is already kind of almost to the middle of the year I don't have a lot of items on my wish list but for the most part I am in love love with Fendi um, I don't know what it is this Fendi trend that is going on I loved Fendi before so back in the the 90s I liked um, Fendi um, it's making a resurgence around again I had a Fendi baguette at one point I had sold that I I had a um, that I sold it to a consignment store but yeah Fendi is making a comeback and I am loving it I'm so here for it um, so I have actually a quite a few items on, on my list that I want um, first I want the um, the Fendi sunshine shopper um, it is going for 2390 2390 US dollars um, so I'm showing you this one here I'm, I'm loving this bag this bag comes in the pink and stripe it's in the brown and in the pink color I love it I think I want it in the brown though all right and also what I am loving is the Fendi runway shopper so I think a lot of people are doing like the LV um, um, the LV tote the LV bag not the never full um, the to go tote uh, on the go tote that's what it's called and then they're also doing the Dior um, shopper and I'm not really loving either of those I don't like the reverse monogram as much um, on the uh, for the LV market I mean I'm sure I probably will come around to it but for right now I'm not really here for it um, and Dior I'm just not into Dior I hate the saddlebag I hate the D Dior uh, print and I just feel like it's just overpriced for what you're getting for it but the Fendi one yes now I'm all about a Fendi. I like, I think it's, it's the neutral. I like the browns. I like those kind of colors. So I think that's kind of why I'm, I'm liking, I like the Fendi print. So anyway, um, the, the runway shopper is another one that I want. I like the vinyl. Um, it comes in the black, the white, and then there's also a brown print. Another Fendi item that I am interested in getting is a Fendi peekaboo. I want the larger size. I know that they said that those are very, very heavy, um, but I do want that for traveling. I want that to be able to, you know, kind of put everything in for my tra travel bag. So if um, either like a, a Fendi tote or a Fendi, if I can't get a Fendi tote um, or a Fendi um, peekaboo, I love the leather. I like a metallic leather with like the, um, the print on the inside so that I can kind of have it open and kind of wear it. I really want to get the um, the guitar strap, the, the canvas 
Fendi strap to kind of wear with it as well. Um, so yeah, so that's another Fendi item that I want as well. So I love the way that you can have it open and you can see the monogram print on the back. Um, lastly, as far as Fendi goes, I had actually two pairs of shoes. I should say lastly, but there's two pairs of shoes. Um, I want the, uh, the trainers, the sneakers. Um, I want the Fendi Rococo knit sneaker. That is the one I want in the monogram. They are so cute. I could just see it with a pair of jeans, a white t-shirt, those shoes just, mm, just like that little bit of pop. Um, maybe with like a solid um, bag. Now see, like then I could do a black bag and maybe like um, a black Fendi. Maybe I was thinking about getting maybe the uh, Mini Mamba. Um, I'm sorry, the Mini Mama. I apologize. And maybe um, or something that I can do the the strap with and the shoes that just kind of like coordinate that way or something. A little pop. But anyway, our red outfit with the Papa shoes. Oh my goodness, a little pair of. Uh, shorts white shorts a red top and those i'm loving those those are i definitely want those and then i also want the um the monogram mules um as well so i'm going to show a picture of both of these items i'm loving these sneakers i love the velcro i love a stretchy knit sneaker and these mules are everything all right um a couple other pairs of shoes that i want there is a designer called amina abdul jalil I love her items. She has like rhinestone encrusted, like um, embellished um, flats and heels and um, sandals. Oh my God. And they're not like badly priced. They probably range anywhere from like three to $600 for their shoes. And I really, really like them. So I don't know if it's considered luxury, um, but I love them. I'm, I'm here for them. It's kind of like the, um, the mock and mock. I think it's the other the other make, um, but I really really like the Amina um, Abdul Jalil um, I, uh, shoes. I'm gonna get a pair of I want a pair of the strappy heels. I want a pair of the tuxedo flats, and I also want a pair of the sandals. I figure because when I buy shoes, I buy them in bulk, so usually I buy more than one at a time. So I really do want to buy probably like three pairs of her shoes, and they just are so gorgeous. They're just sexy and I just love a sexy shoe um, so they're just gonna be I'm here for it for the summertime that's exactly what I want oh my god the bow on these shoes are everything and the quality I'm told is wonderful the thigh high boots the crystal uh, strappy sandals the rainbow bow I love a bow I love hearts I'm just so I can't wait to get them also I would like to get a Chanel wallet on chain um so i don't have any chanel items i am not a big chanel girl um i'm just not um i i eventually i'm trying to ease it in i i did see a pair of earrings that i wanted so i do want some um, chanel earrings i saw a pair on the pre-love market they were like the cc's um and i'll show you here um in a picture cc's with the the pearl drop so i do want those those are one thing that I do. These are very classy and you can wear these with just about anything. And then I also want the wallet on chain. Um, I have discovered that I am not a black handbag girl. I, every time I get a black handbag, I have my Elma uh, from, from um, Louis Vuitton and I like it, but I'm just not loving black. And I just, I realized that that's what my thing is. I would rather get a white bag. Oh, I love a white bag. I'd rather get a white bag or like a cream color bag before I ever get like a black bag. But anyway, I do think that I do need like a, a small, uh, like a, you know, the, the Chanel wallet on chain. I figure I can get it in the black. Just so if I'm going out to a nice evening or to, you know, a wedding or something like that, going out to dinner, I could have that. And it's a crossbody and that will be able to house everything. But, um, you know, I'm looking for a Chanel like uh, flap as well either a single flap or a double flap, a smaller one, probably like a medium size um, that I can use and I can use that kind of like, um, but, but I want it in a color. I don't want it in black. I want it in some kind of really nice color. I love a metallic, um, things like that. So um, that's something that I'm wanting to get as well. I think it's just simple and classy. It's a staple in my closet and that's why I think I need one. So a couple of LV items that I do want. Um, I still want an Alma BB. Um, I need a 
crossbody bag, but I want it in the Vernie um, print, the, the material, and I want it in the Rose Ballerine, that light pink. Um, I don't think they sell it online anymore, so I'm probably going to have to get it on the pre-love market, which is okay with me. You know, I like a pre-love market. I like a deal, but I want to find it for the you know, a hopefully a good deal in a good condition. But oh my goodness, I want an Alma BB in the pink so bad. Um, and then another um, LV item that I also want is the Bandu, the um, it's the Privy BB Bandu in beige. They, I had a chance to buy it online, and I and I stalled, I stalled, and then I went one day to actually buy it, and it said notify me. It has not been up there since. It literally that was like two months ago, two months ago, three months ago. I've been stopping the website ever since. Um, when the shutdown happened, I couldn't go to the store. Oh my goodness. If if somebody sees that online um, on the website, uh, LV website for sale, please, please, please uh, inbox me because I just really, really want that band do. And I have been waiting. It has. It's been actually three months. It's been well, two months. It's been since, you know, a couple of months now. So I really, really want that one. So I, that is what I'm looking for as well. It is so cute. Like, I don't even need to say any words. It's just adorable. And this bandeau, I can use it in my hair, on my purse. It's like so many ways. I just really want one. So please help me find one. All right, guys. So that is the end of my video today and my wish list. Like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of items. I had a couple of items. This, um, you know, we're already almost to the middle of the year. So I didn't want to make it long list because I want to try and make sure I get the items that I want. And then next year we can kind of see, you know, what I've gotten. And especially with, you know, everything going on, I didn't want to get a whole lot of items. Um, I, I like sustainability. I don't want to be collecting a whole bunch of stuff I'm really not going to use and, and really didn't want. I really had to think deeply about what I wanted and what I needed um, the, these items for. So, yeah, I, I, I've collected a, quite a few items as, as well. Anyway, you know, being home, doing online shopping, I've had co collected a few items. So, I don't want to have to have a whole lot, lot more that I'm putting in my collection. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me today. You know, as always, I'm always appreciative for you guys coming and look at me and see me and, and listen to what I got to talk about. Until next time, you guys stay safe out there.